Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zisteria with Alex Verte Games. On the last episode, we headed through the. Well, we defeated Simone, and then we headed through the village of Kavlan, um, which is where the Age of Chaos began. And we also took a peek into that beautiful place up there, Artorias Throne, which is our final dungeon. Um, and that's what we'll be doing today. We'll be heading through the final dungeon after um, taking on a Hellion um, or two. Um, but before we do any of that, between episodes I've been fusing equipment and grinding as usual. But the most noticeable thing, and the thing that I am most proud of, as most proud to announce, I finished McLeo's fusion! <laughs> um... This might look a bit crazy, considering the numbers here. Um, I finished Mikleo's fusion. He now has Aquax, which is e Union level 9. Um, which is a 20% chance of times 4 water power increase. Then that one there, just because why not. And then Mystique on Aqua, which makes his water attack power plus 100%. Um, I actually have a couple of times two aquas on there, but they're not really doing anything, which is kind of a waste, but whatever. Um, and I've got my, my casting time reduced by 40%. I tested it and it's absolutely absolutely amazing. I had it in my last uh, playthrough as well. And also, um, I keep clicking on the wrong thing here. His art defense is crazy. <laughs> um, everyone else's art defense is pretty good. And then you just get Mikleo, who's a tank. And that's because of, um, I believe it's his le legless ring. It's his legless ring. I have fused it that many times. And then his summer vacation as well has 173. Yeah. Um, he's wearing some pretty good equipment, I think. Um, I'm really proud of what I've managed, managed to achieve in a few days with his uh, fusion. Anyway, we are going to start heading towards the shrine now. Here we are. Artorius throne. Again. <laughs> oh, I love this place. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's... Finished! Would you like some? Thank you, Lila. I think it's maybe the sky and the surroundings and the cool lightning blasts and things. I think it's maybe the architecture. Ugh, so much malevolence. It's way worse than the last time we fought Held Off. It just means we're getting closer and closer to him. Yeah, we can't afford to let our guards down. I let my guard down and I was distracted. <laughs> I didn't realize they were going to talk, but they talked. It's fine. Um, yeah, so this is our Tori's throne on the inside. Um, oh, I love this dungeon so much. Um... I feel like I'm kind of using muscle memory to get around it, though, because I'm immediately just going up here, even though I didn't think about that. Um, yeah, okay, this is the way I'm supposed to go, but I'm going to go to the back room and then I'm going to go back, because in this back room here... Hi, let me in. We have... I like a, a, a new Hellion! It's avoided eye. I wish I had avoided it. <laughs> Lord of water. The voided eye is said to control empty space. Don't look at it right in the eye. Hey, I contact his basic etiquette. <laughs> you know about etiquette? It's a bead. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Oh, you should laugh at your own jokes while maybe doing the fella. Um, not bad. Man, you're pretty strong, Zavid. Well, you know what they say. You can never be too strong. Okay, one, Zavid wasn't even in that battle, and number two, it's Mikleo who's strong, sorry, <laughs> just because of my fusion techniques. Anyway, we have a lovely discovery point right here, the Crest of Ignominat, which comes with the skit, the Unknown Crest. The Crest of Maltellus? No, wait. Something's off. It's... This is the Crest of Ignominat. Ignominat? Who's that? A rather enigmatic seraph who only comes up in the oldest texts. He was one of the five lords, before Mautelus. A lord before Mautelus? Do the five lords switch in and out? Everything comes and goes, without exception. Right now, those who worship Mautelus vastly outnumber adherents of the other four lords. Tomorrow, it may be the opposite. I see. I guess that makes sense. So this was a shrine to a nominat. It looks like it. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. Usually they can't help but go on and on about this stuff. Lila, maybe we ought to... Hmm. <sighs> huh? No, 
Moving on. Uh, right. Come on, guys. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, they're all so worried about them. For good reason, I guess. I mean, you would think the history nerds would go on and on about this, but... I don't know, there's a lot of empty hallways, but at the same time, what do you expect as a temple? Um, a temple that's not been used... Stand strong, uh, Rising Well, we're here, here's the information for the Voided Eye. Void. Empty. Blank. Vacuous. Definitely an eye to avoid. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Things creepy as hell though, so no arguments here. I made that joke as well, Isla. Everyone okay? We are absolutely hunky dory. We got some ground issues. I don't need those. <laughs> I keep hitting out in limit and having to Looking for it. Black Panther, isn't that a movie that came out recently? <laughs> I got distracted again. Uh these are nerves. Fight. Well, you found it. It's a tiger heli in which attacks Seraphim in the dark. Don't try to face him one on one. Good luck. Uh, okay, thanks for that. That helps. Okay. That's fine, they're pretty neat. Well, they are with Mikleo in the party anyway. Man, you're pretty strong, Zavid. Well, you know what they say. You can never be too strong. That's that's twice really quickly. Okay, let's um switch to Mikleo. And uh, can I avoid this? Or I should probably fight it, shouldn't I? Ugh. Don't Hi, who are you? Your ancient armor and your weak to wind. Well, that's fine. A servant ever loyal to his master. Is this your first time seeing a lifeless Hellion? Loosen up, buddy. Quit being such a creeper and cover me. <laughs> He's not even here to cover you! And you were supposed to be covering Serene. You just freaking let him die. No, oh, oh no, oh no, they cast. They cast. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, this is fine. Hi. Maybe don't do that. Okay, they're they're actually pretty weak. Um, except for when they cast and then they're quite strong. Okay. What a formidable opponent! It's fine, that worked. Um okay, do I need to heal? Yes, I need to heal. Edna's dying. Uh okay, we're cooled out. Let's uh, head out this way and see what's over in this direction. It's another door! And hold on, can I? Can I get over here? No, I can't. Okay. But we'll be able to later. Um, this place is like a maze. Um, and I remember most of it from previous playthroughs because I sometimes come through here just to grind as well. There is a tiger beside me. Please don't attack me. Uh, I don't want to fight you, thanks. Oh, it's so fast too. Oh no. Right, I'm gonna have to fight these though. We can't hold While we're here though, here's the information for the Black Panther. A tough looking panther. It's not actually that black though. Who named this? It's got some dark spots, I guess. Maybe it should be leopard in various shades of grey. Could be they refer to the depth of his corruption though. That that's more likely. We're survivors, no matter the odds! Um, well, that happened, I guess. Um, I didn't armor test, so, which is why it took so long, but yeah. Alright, hi. This one's new, it's a succubus. I'll take on this cute looking succubus. But she's a powerful opponent with few weaknesses. We've come this far. We can't lose yet. Okay, this is fine. Oh, don't, don't, no, no, okay. It's fine, we have good art defense. Why are they using armored moves? They're good. Fangs. This, fine. this is fine! This is absolutely honky dory! I'm sorry. You know what? That didn't take off that HP. We're fine. Because of Mikleo's tankiness. What a formidable opponent! Yay! Yeah, Mikleo is such a tank. Okay. I think this is a discovery point. No, no, it's not a discovery point. Okay. I'm in the wrong room then. There is a discovery point, and I think it might be the one that. The other side, which I can't get to just yet. Right, I'm not fighting you. No matter how much you tell me, I'm not fighting you. Uh, do we need to? Yeah, okay. We really need to heal, or Edna needs to get out. Uh, I might actually have to get her out of the party at some point. Oh god, we're not fighting. Right, okay. 
Now we get to finally make our way along this place. Hold on. Is there a chest over here? Yes, there is. Of course there's a chest over here. I'm always missing the chests here. Survivor's garb. Nice. I think that has Phoenix on it. Oh, I'm gonna get... Oh, no. Don't okay, ever... it's a Garuda. Hooray. It said that Garudas possess godlike levels of mana. And it can totally fly, too, so we better watch it. How? It has radiant heat. Ew. Here it goes! Fighting Vortex! Of wind. It's it's not... oh. Did anyone already die? Oh my god. What a formidable opponent. Oh, that did not go well. Okay, um, I think I've decided everyone else needs to get some fusion done really soon because hold on, we are not doing well. Um... <laughs> They're all dying so much. Right, hi. Red Rosemary, Red Rosemary. Thank you. Right, these are cool. Uh, remember the, sh the Shrines of Trials? Um, th this is the fire one. Except it's an artillery stone. It's, it's kind of a, just a way of making you remember things and go, oh yeah, only someone who was able to pass the Shepherd's Trials would be able to get past this. I guess. <laughs> I mean, if you didn't pass the Shepherd's Trials, you wouldn't be able to survive here, to be fair. Um. And that opens this door here. We'll go through there in just a second. I'm gonna quickly grab something from this room. Something? What is it? A strawberry shortcake! That will come in handy. That will come in very handy, especially considering what's up these stairs. Um, so basically there are four of these towers, because you know, four elements. And at the top of each of these towers, we have a Hellion. A, a boss Hellion person. Um, yeah, we're gonna fight it. Right, okay. Um, right, this is the fire one. Fire is strong against wind and weak against... No, strong against earth and weak against wind? No, hold on. Earth is strong against water, so yeah, earth, fire is strong against earth. Or wind. Hold on. Yeah, fire is strong against earth. Earth is strong against water. Water is strong against wind. Wind is strong against... No, hold on. Because Zavid is strong against Earth, but weak against fire, right? But Mikli was weak to Earth. Which means that it must be water, Earth. Okay, I think this part is pretty good. I'll swap in Lila. I think there's going to be weak to Mikli. I think. I might be entirely wrong here. We can't hold Yeah, okay, it's weak to war, okay. <laughs> These things are basically all gonna be weak to and strong against the things that are to do with their elements, so that, that took me a while to figure out. Anyway, this is the Katobla Pass or something like that. And here's the information for it. A twisted hellion that damages its own body in order to trigger stat boosts. I mean sure we could all relate, but backing away slowly now. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think you're the only one who can relate here, Zavid. It's weak to war! Okay, it's uh, weak to physical. Let's, uh, let's just take this thing out, it's gonna be easy to fight. Especially with the good old Mikleo on the team. Especially with his current setup. Um, yeah. I don't know, these things are a good challenge. Um, and they're a good way of using all of your Seraphim. Because of the different strengths and weaknesses on them. Um, so, like, using Edna would be a bad idea here, but I could use Mikleo, which is great, but I won't be able to use Mikleo as easily when we get to the Earth one. I think. <laughs> it, it took me a while to figure out, okay. Right. Okay. I think it's just because it's kind of late at night and I'm kind of tired. Or else I would remember more easily. But I just don't remember very easily. Enough. See, like, we're already killing it so easily. Open the way um, except for when it does that. Come on. Okay, uh, 20,000 health. I'm not making the same mistake as I did just before. Okay, uh, 16,000 health. Nope. Okay, 
Okay, 13,000 health. Come on! Especially because this one can heal itself up by being undead. Please kill it. You're working so hard, Lila. But who's it for? If you're asking if it's for you, then yes, partially. We did it! We did it! We bet it! And we only killed once. I don't know who died. Probably Rose. Um, and we got some decayed paper for that. That is um, the only leaves of paper able to be fused with any other paper. However, its base parameters will never improve, which is a thing, I guess. Oh, there's a ghost. Give it your I forget that these things exist. The spectre, they're weak to fire. A spectre, a ghost that wanders this world. I wouldn't show them sympathy if I were you. Don't worry, I'm not here to give a sermon. Fair enough. I, have I ever heard the conversation for that one? I don't think I have. I don't recall that conversation. Um, right, they're undead in a boss. That's my undead move, isn't it? Not that one, but... Um, I tried to do it, it didn't work. There we go. I see you there. Oh, thank you, Zavid. Is that your sword style? Pretty cool. Well, I had a lot of practice with Miklia. Nice. We got a good tiara for that as well. Hold on, uh, let's heal before we get into another fight. That'd be um, a good idea. Right, hi, fight me. Give it your It's a winged dragon with strong attacks. We have no chance of winning. We can't avoid getting hit. It's fine as we tore. I mean, we'll probably get hit, but also. Ah, I was hoping for someone stronger. That, that literally took 13 seconds. One with all at full HP. That's how OP Mikleo is at the moment. <laughs> oh, I can't wait until everyone's like that. We got a slave in shadow. Nice. Let's let's fight this uh, Arachne. Arachne. Okay. I knew her name. Oh, it's a Arachne. So, is it like a spider or what? It's said that the Hellions form embodies its emotions. So this one used to be a stalker, huh? <laughs> wow. Okay, fair enough. Um, I don't know what else. Uh, used to be a creep anyway, because spiders are awful. Okay, this is fine. I showed them. Did you get the last hit there? Fair enough, I guess. Um, okay. We need to go over there just to get rid of that. So we'll go over here first. Alright, you're weak to water anyway, so might as well fight you. Hi. Give it your Who's rough or right? <laughs> you while we're here, while we are here, let's get the information for the dragon flare. A big dragon with big wings. Still, not as big as the one we took down on the battlefield. We can handle it. It's most dangerous when it's provoked. Be sure to coordinate with everyone whether to target it first or save it for last. Looks like we win. We do win because we're the best. Okay, uh, if we go this way, then that just takes us back to the beginning of the dungeon, um, where we don't need to go right now. So we're not going to go back that way. Um, rather, we are going to fight another dragon flare. Hi. Everyone okay? Nice. Well, I mean, not everyone's okay actually, because um, some people are dying a bit, but it's fine. We're cool. Uh, okay, we're fine. Right. Hi, Arachne. I don't really want to fight you again, so I'm not gonna. Um, if you change into a different Hellion, I'll consider it. We got an hourglass. I will I use those? Will I ever use those? The true question of playing this game. Will I ever use that item? Possibly not. Probably not. No, it's the Wind Tower. Darn it, I knew it was the Wind Tower and I just got it wrong. Okay. Wonderful. Okay, let's quickly go get the item from in the item room. Hi there. Oh, there's two. Okay. I stand corrected. Let's get the items. A chiffon cake and a death sheet. Thank you. And we also have another Hellion at the top of this tower. Let's go and see who it will be. If it's wind, then wind is strong against earth and weak against fire. So, Lila! Let's go. It's the hippogriff. Um, and let's have a look at the information for it. 
I'm assuming this is a similar type to the griffin we fought before. What's hippo supposed to mean? It's just, it's just a corruption of hit points griffin. Notice how high its HP is? Uh, fair enough, actually. It does have really high HP. But it has, um... Kind of low defense. Okay, it's a dragon that's way good. Okay. This is fine. Okay. One, two, six rolling stars. Okay. This uh, shouldn't be too difficult, I think. Um, we have Lila here to get some power hits, and we've got Water Mass to help out. Um, yeah, the good thing about this game is that as long as you use. The power hit move. Power hit move. Aim and fire. You know, the move that is going to be Open weak the against. The move that is going to be weak fire. against due Wizard to bang. its uh, Hellion type. And um, that it doesn't matter whether it's resisted to you or not, because it'll still get a power hit on it. And as long as your AI actually do their job, then you should be alright. I don't have enough BG to, to heal you, I will just heal you with an item, I'm sorry. Okay, this is fine. I didn't need to use Azure Salt, but hey, it'll do. Okay, this is fine. Okay, uh... We're getting on the stage here slowly but surely. Okay. I like that for basically every battle, though, it's just, yeah, let's just armatize immediately. Here it comes! I think that's part of the reason why I don't like having Alicia in the party. Because we are just relying so much on optimization at the moment. Although there they are de advertising for whatever reason. You know, that's cool. I mean, I guess she's not dead yet. Because uh, we did have a power hit combo until I effed up. Okay, this is fine. No, this is not fine. Okay. You know what, maybe I should just uh, stick with my winged move and just not bother with six falling stars. Oh no. Okay, Rose is dead. This is fine. Oh, okay, I don't have enough uh, SC actually. Please don't kill Lyra. I kind of beat her. Um, she could totally armatize. She should totally armatize, thank you. Oh god, okay, heal yourselves, heal yourselves. I'm gonna heal you some more. Okay, this is fine. Right, okay, it's only got 19,000 health left, it's fine. I won't be able to do a Mystic Heart, but it's fine. You know what, maybe I should uh, get another Seraph to do a Mystic Heart. But I can't be bothered, because that would take effort, so let's just not. If they had enough PG, I could totally just switch over to them and do theirs, but... Um, Rose, unfortunately, does not have enough BG. Nice to be able to put my hair up with a barrette, right? What's a barrette? You don't know what a barrette is? Were you born in, in a, a barn? barn? Have you been living under, under a, rock? a rock? Yep, we were born in barns. We were, we're, we were born in bars to raid. I can't, I can't speak. I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> we got a worn out pendulum. Um. The only pendulum able to be fused with any other pendulum. It has aqua on it, which um, is fun, I guess. I can't speak, I'm sorry. <laughs> we also, um, we've been getting a lot of gold, which I'm very grateful for because I kept running out of gold while I was doing my fusion. Fusing is expensive. <laughs> um, although, luckily, because I was hitting item limits so much, I was selling quite a few items too, so it wasn't too hard to get my a gold coat back up, but it was still a struggle. Oh, there's the other one we've not fought yet. Hi. I'd like to fight you if you'd like to fight me. Right, it's a it's a mammoth. It's weak to fire and it's resistant to war. Well its size speaks for itself. It's ferocious too. Don't let your guard down. Try not to get sucked into it. Sucked into Oh, okay, ow. It's fine, it didn't actually hit me, but it could have. Oh god. Right, I don't want to get sucked into these things, that'd be bad. Oh! I say that and then it immediately happens. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna speak anymore because I'll just jinx everything. Purification complete. Okay, we did it, it's fine.
let's not fight Arachne. Let's uh, heal as well, because we're kind of dying. Um, let's get some peach jelly up in here. No one's making high-level snacks anymore, and I'm kind of disappointed. Uh, let's get Zavid back in here. Uh, can I always switch? We can't hold that. Yeah. Water. Water. Swiggity Water. sweaty. I'm oh, coming for your crustacean booty. Oh, I'm sorry. All this fighting sure makes me hungry. Same. I could totally do with some food right now. Actually, I'm not that hungry. Just food sounds good, but I'm not actually that hungry. For once in my life. Right, melon gels. Melon gels are. Uh, yes. Let's have a look at the information for the succubus. Now, her. You don't dare do things halfway. You treat her like crap and sneak out for a little action on the side, you're asking to get burned. I seriously never know when you're joking. She's definitely among the craftier Hellions, though. We better be careful. I hope you were joking, Zavid. You're working so hard, Lila. But who's it for? If you're asking if it's for you, then yes. Partially. She's lying. It's not for you. Not that it's much of a trial. Uh, they just kind of put some blocks here and we're like, yeah, just just go for it. But at, le at least it's there to tell you this is what element you'll be facing next. Um, which means that Mikley is going to be freaking useless. Although I will still keep him in the party because I'm actual trash. <laughs> Mikleo trash number one. <laughs> okay. What's in here? A viking hat. Can someone please draw Zavid wearing a viking hat? Or is that inappropriate? I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let me... Uh, strongest earth, but when he gets fire. Okay, Zavid's fine. Okay, we can do this if we believe in the power of the... I don't know, okay. Give it your own oh, it's called Amit. And let's look at the information for it. That took off so much HP. Damn it, Amit! <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to say that. It's Park Crocodile, I believe. Oh no, poor thing, it's crying. I just want to give it a hug. Come here, honey, it's okay. Um, might not be the best idea to do that with a alien, but that's quite cute. Okay. Oh my god. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry! Thank you. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's a dragon. It's a dragon. Okay, this is fine. Six falling stars. Oh, okay. You. No, 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 no. Okay. Six falling stars. Maybe we shouldn't be armatized for this fight. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh, okay. It, it cast really quickly. Like, I thought I cast it quickly, but it casts really quickly. Okay, this is fine. Open the pierce to three to drag you down! Now! Open the pierce to three to come one! Trinity arrow! Open the pierce to three to drag you down! This is fine. Okay. Elixir for Okay, this is cool. Uh, right. Okay, this is gonna be a long battle, I guess. Uh, maybe I should get Ed Man here. Oh no. Oh no, okay. Oh, oh no. Trinity well, it's a good thing I have art defense. Okay, this is fine. Oh, thank you. Okay, are you gonna cast it? No, oh, okay, ow. That's fine. It's fine, I heal myself. You don't need to heal me. Oh, no. Oh, okay. This thing is too strong. I don't like it. It's fine. If I just do this, then it won't be able to move. Hopefully. Ow. Okay, that's fine. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Uh, this is gonna be a whole I didn't need to go straight for our squall, but that works, okay. Uh, I'm it, I'm it. Okay, that is quite fun to say, actually. Right. Ah. Oh, wait, did I say get in then here? I meant to get Lila in here, but. Oh, oh no. This is fine. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I should really be more careful. Nope, okay. Oh, oh no. Okay, I'm healing myself. I'm healing myself right now. Oh god. Okay. 
Okay, you know what? I should really just, uh... Oh. Okay, this is fine. It casts way too quickly. Wait, uh, what's physical attacks that... Hmm. Uh, do I want to play a story for this fight? It's really... Okay, this is fine. Uh, you know what? They're getting power hits on it. I'm gonna just... Uh, nope, ow. No, 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 no. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Okay. No, 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 oh god. Okay, I need to be more careful about this. Okay. Nope. I need a hand. Okay, this is fine. I did not mean to heal them. This is fine. Okay, I'm gonna Oh no. I'm gonna die at the tree. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Okay, this is fine. I'm just showing off my dodging game at this point. Oh, okay, she got a power hit on it. And she isn't dead. I thought she was gonna die for a second there. Okay, let's just... If we do this a couple of times, it'll eventually die. Okay, uh, that guard of the power hit combo, but also... Yeah. Ow. That's fine, you're just giving me more power! Nope. No! And no! Just throw another one out there, it's fine. Ooh. Oh, look at that! Damage! Nice! Okay! This is my. My bow is ahead. The vortex swallows you. So, like, is this cheating or? <laughs> oh no! Oh god! Wow! Okay, that one was. Who? Okay. Just go. My bow is ahead. Oh god! The vortex swallows you. I'm holding it. You sure are strange, Saray. Really? Definitely weird. You're also really- Not weird. That took seven minutes. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize that went on for so long. We got a mangled umbrella from it, which again, is the only one able to be fused and stuff. You yeah, know. Um, we're all dying a bit. Um, so we're gonna heal. So I think this is near the beginning. It is near the beginning. Um, so if we actually burn this away, then this bit here is actually going back to the start again. Once again, we're not going that way just yet. Um, because it just takes us right back to the start. Um, so we don't need to go that way. And um, we've already been in that room or corridor or whatever it was. <laughs> um, so yeah, not much point going there. This part is uh, ooh, filled with Hellions. We've not fought you yet. This is uh, the absolutely named Hell Lady. Water. I'm digging her nails. Just make sure her nails don't dig you. Can you dig it? Fair enough. Right, they just have an area of effects. So, I'm gonna just... Yeah, it's fine. Throw me to water. Um... Yeah, she does have pretty long nails, doesn't she? I mean, I can't see them very well, but... Right. Oh, she's dead. She is dead. <laughs> Sonic Boom? Isn't that a... We're survivors, no matter the odds. Isn't Sonic Boom a TV show? I feel like it's a Sonic the T Sonic the Hedgehog TV show, but I'm not entirely sure. Still no sign of him or his traps? The weight is almost the worst thing. I'm starting to feel very uneasy about this. Hey, didn't I tell us to keep our chins up? Doesn't do any good to speculate. You're right. Damn it, I forgot that stupid chest. I'm an idiot. Okay, um... Right, let's head through this door then, because we've already been... Yeah, I can't go that way anyway. Um, we can finally go up here, though, and get the other discovery point that I thought was in the other room, and it's actually in this room. Give it your own While we're here, we also might as well get the information for the Hell Lady, because I ran into her. <gasps> hmm, now her. She's the type to wheedle you for trinkets. You don't want to buy everything she asks for. But you don't want to share out completely, you know? 
I might suggest treating her like a human being, but in this case, she's literally a monster, so I'll let this one slide. She does a vacuum wave thing that comes out of nowhere. Gotta watch and try to avoid those. That's fine. You're the one avoiding them. Well, guess I overdid it again. More like wasted your energy and talk too much. True. <laughs> again, he's always overdoing it. Hello, Norman. You are Invalida. Finally, you are here, Invalida. Hi. Can I put you on something that's not Mickleum's because Mickleum literally has nothing that I can put on? Um, you know what? I'll put it on one of the other staffs. Because um, he has other staffs. Surprisingly. You wouldn't think so, but he has other staffs, staffs that exist. Um, you know what? We'll put it on Muse's staff. She can have it. Sure. Um, okay. Finally, we have Invalida. Um, I think there's just one more Norman that we need to get then, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we have another discovery point here. A horde of ritual sorge, which comes with a skit. Relics of the Shepherds. Saray, take a look. Ritual swords. Yeah. Looks like this place had something to do with shepherds after all. There used to be a great many shepherds. If only some of them were still walking this earth. Right. But history is history and it's put us here now. You, me, everyone. True enough. And don't forget, every moment we live is also part of history. <laughs> then we better do what we can not to disappoint our future selves. Yep. After all, the future's filled with jerks like me who hold the past to an impossible standard. Ha! <laughs> Criticize this, you jerks! Everyone okay? Yeah, we're fine. That, that skit was super cute, though. It's, it's lovely to see that, um, even during all of this, Sarah and Mikleo still have the energy to to joke around and things. Um, why is my phone buzzing at me? Oh god, it's 10pm, isn't it? Stop it! <laughs> it's telling me to go to bed. <laughs> I'll, I'll go to bed soon. Uh, right. Am I going the wrong way? Yes, I'm going the wrong way. There's a chest over there and I need to get it. Right. Hi, Arachne. I'm not going to fight you. I'm just going to kind of go past you. Bye-bye. I... No, I don't. I was gonna say I knew what was in this chest, but I don't. Oh, I do! It's the Moron Glacé! I thought it was the Moron Glacé! Um, yeah. That, that's a that's a sweet. <laughs> it's actually the highest level sweet you can make, so you have to have, like, full snack prep talent to be able to do it. And they don't make it very often. Um, I have quite a few of one of my playthroughs because I never use them because they're really useful. <laughs> Wow, they're really useful, so I never use them. Sounds about right though, doesn't it? Um, it always ends up like that. Um, you might have already guessed by this what's going to happen here. Um, luckily though, uh, they're a bit more obvious here than they were in the water, tri water sh train trial. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I liked the war trial. It was frustrating, sure, but whatever. All right. Um, and at least after this point, after this point, at this point as well, you know the stuff from the war tri uh, trial because um, you've already done it. But I, th I think a lot of people do go, "Oh, for God's sake, not again!" <laughs> because the eyes are just war flashbacks. <laughs> oh God. Okay. All right. Last one. This one, I can keep Mickleo on. Um, and I think Edna. Edna needs to be in the party for this one. Let, let's just heck and do this. Uh, it's a dinosaur. It, it's a dinosaur. <laughs> Here's the information for the dinosaur. Dinosaurs were dragons that ruled the world eons and eons ago. But in their hubris, they invoked a terrible curse of ice, which proved to be their destruction. Uh, there's not a third page for this one. Huh. Lord of Water! Oh god, okay, it makes noise. Okay, oh lord. This thing is strong. Okay, you're, you're a dragon. Can you stop frustrating banks? Oh god, I don't like the noises you make. Right, okay, I need to get my SE up. It's fine. This thing um, literally has the same moves as a lot of dragons, actually, in the game. You know, so even though it's supposed to be 
a dinosaur. Ow. Okay. It likes to do the tail swipe. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Uh, yeah, it has a lot of the same moves as dragons, so I'm kind of familiar with this style. Uh, okay. Yeah, it likes to do tail swipes, fire breath. Fire breathing dragons are normal. Fire breathing dinosaurs, not so much. Oh god. Okay. Ow, I don't like Final Embrace. Okay. Oh, Lord. this is fine. I wish the power hit would keep going when I could put it on there, but it doesn't, unfortunately. Oh, this is gonna be another long one, isn't it? Oh, God. I need to learn how to dodge people in breaks. Not enough people, not enough people, not enough enemies use it for me to learn. Oh, nice! Oh, look at that power hit combo! What? I have- it's rubbing its face against the ground, what? <laughs> what is this, a dog? Okay, this is fine. Okay. We're cool, we're fine, we're actually doing alright. Um... You know what, I just got another power hit on it. Even if it went away immediately, I got a power hit on it. Uh, okay. Oh, the oh no, oh no. Oh! Um, we both just used it. Okay! <laughs> that was the best timing that I've ever had. Uh, I didn't realize it also had Maelstrom. Okay. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I mean, it's quite, it's quicker if you can do like that. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, what is it with our timing? Why are we syncing up with our Maelstroms? Can we stop sinking our maelstroms, please? Okay. Oh no. Oh, I accidentally went right into that. Okay. I know from experience how, how damaging maelstrom can be, and it's only from the experience of actually using it. Ow. Yeah, I'm just um, kind of ignoring some of Oops, sorry. Right, let's just give him a cream shell. Aim and fire. Here goes. I never use items on the lead. Huh. This is fine. This, this isn't gonna be bad. I swear it's a beat. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Do I have a, an arcade ball? I do. Nope, nope. Oh, oh god. Okay, this is fine. Okay. Six falling stars. Uh, bangs, crush. You know what? Maybe I should be a bit more careful. Oh god. I think I've said that a few times in this battle, though. Oh god. Six falling stars. Okay, this is cool. Uh, it's only eight thousand health left. It's fine. If I can get the four hit. Nope, okay, it's a dragon, so I can't get the Unless it's stunned! Because dragons hate you. Um basically. Like literally, if you're fighting against a dragon, unless it's stunned, you're not gonna be able to get a Mystic Art off on it. Which is kind of annoying. I managed to get one off on on Amit. Stop buzzing at me. Is this the same art that art? I've been playing too much of this game, even my phone is using arts now. It's the same app as before, I don't want it to be telling me to go to bed. I know I need to go to bed. Oh god, okay. Right, okay. Oh wow, okay. I overdid it again. More like wasted your energy and talk too much. That was a sound to be dying to, oh wow. Um. Finally, we did that though. We got a decrepit staff, which again, is the only staff be capable of being fused with any other staff. As you can see, it actually has Mystique on it, which is the skill I was working so hard to get on Mikleo. Um This would make it way easier, but also it's really weak. So I'm not using it, thanks.
Um, unless I figure out what sanctification does with them. Um, I don't think I'm going to be using any of this equipment. <laughs> Which is fine. Alright, uh, let's head down here again. And... I forgot about the eyes! <laughs> it's fine though, because... We were heading out anyway. Right, we came up the stairs, I think. So let's head back up this way. And, um... As you can see... We are actually... Almost at the end. Uh, okay. I can run past these. These are fine. These are not fast enough to catch me, so I'm not gonna let them catch me. Uh, the bird might be a problem. Okay, here we go! We are at the top of the final dungeon! Finally! Let's, uh, let's get this warp and head towards the scene. Hey, Savid. Didn't you say before that you had a score to settle with Maltellus? Yeah, but it looks like I won't have to kill him. The fact that you met Saray opened new possibilities for you, didn't it? Yes, my fated meeting. Too bad my destiny was a shepherd and not a pair of hot twins. Are you dumb? Seriously. To kill one of the five lords? Even to think that you could kill them is ridiculous. Well, you never know what'll happen until you try. You knew your answer from the start, and you've stuck with it the whole way through. I'm actually impressed. Why, thank you, Rosie. Care to sign a pact and be my vessel? Too far. Ow! Thanks a lot, Zavid. Hmm? It makes me really happy that by meeting each other, you found a way to save yourself. Saray. I swear, you're the corniest guy alive. You gotta stop being such a softy. We still got work to do. Right. And there we have that. Uh, we've got the Shepherd's Outfit Determination, which is just one of the ones that changes the music in battle, which is fine. Thank you for giving me the warp point, finally. And also a skit here at the save point at the heart of the Malevolence. Where the hell is this? This is incredible. It defies all reason. The massive amount of malevolence must be behind this warped scenery. And so that's why the landscape here is so out of this world? If there is a hell, I wonder if it's like this. Says the person who's actually been to it. I told you I'd tell you all about it when I see it, ladies. And I have a feeling I won't be waiting long. <laughs> Glad to see everyone still got the energy to joke around, at least. They're the same as ever, that's for sure. I don't think you guys can be the ones to say that. Oh, yeah? Well, then how about a guy like me? Very reassuring. Yeah, really. <laughs> oh, I am really glad, actually, that even though they're in this situation, they're able to keep their spirits up, because otherwise this would have been so depressing. Um, and we have one last skit here at the save point. Maron Glacé, the snack of kings. With their rich aroma and elegant sweetness, Maron's glaces are masterpieces, with ingredients that come from the bounty of Earth. Indeed, it's a luxurious sweet that would be best savored at an afternoon tea party. Darn right. Chicks dig classy stuff like that. You sure seem to be knowledgeable about what goes on in a lady's mind, Zavid. <laughs> Sweets are important because they hold the key to a lady's heart. Maron's glaces require the utmost delicacy and devotion to make. It's been said that an ancient king once sent them as a gift to his beloved queen. Yep, with its touch of romance and sweet chestnuts, it's the perfect treat to get you some sweet, if you know what I mean. Your pickup lines are about as smooth as sandpaper, and you wouldn't know what to do with Maron's glaces in a million years. Get real. <laughs> oh, bird. Um, I love that Zavid gets even more flirtatious when they're outside of the freaking final dungeon. Um, that's crazy. Anyway, do we have any more conversation, Rose? Oh, we do. Rose, this is it. The final battle. Call it with the dramatic build-up, alright? You and me are gonna get through this, just like every other time before. You hear me? Yeah, Rose, we can do this. Oh, man, but guys, we finally made it. We are at the final battle. This is the point of no return that I've been talking about. Um, 
Well, I mean, you can go up the stairs. Um, you just if you go into the room, then well, I'll show you. I'll show you. Um, although I won't go right up to the door. Uh, basically, <laughs> this is Artoria's throne, um, the actual building itself. There's a beautiful crater here where um, sacrifices were made, and that door there um, leads to the final battle. Um, there's a there's a star there because that's where you're gonna get seen. We're not gonna get the scene right now though because this episode's gone on for way too long. So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode, this uh, rather long episode, possibly over edited episode. I'm sorry. Um, please let me know what you thought of everything that happened down in the comments below if you feel like it because hot damn, this episode had a lot going on. Um, although it was mostly exploring. In the next few episodes. Don't know how many episodes it'll be. A few, probably. We will be going on with some side quests. Because we're going to have a whole bunch to do. I mean, I know that when you talk to Rose, it doesn't look like that many. Because it just looks like the Edna and Turtles one. And then, obviously, the first time you and I met. Um, but there will be more if we go and sleep it in. Um, and then once we're done with all of those side quests, and once I do a bit of grinding on the side, we'll be done. We'll be ready to go and fight. That's crazy to think about. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling again. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time it is for you. And I will see you next time. <laughs>